So, I haven't made a video in about two months, and I'm sorry about that. Not much has been going on, obviously still dealing with uh, this pandemic. Basically, the most crazy thing in my life is I dyed my hair darker. Otherwise, everything's basically been the same. But I wanted to do a similar video that I did last Christmas season, where I just shared some festive things that I did to get into the holiday spirit, and I thought, what a better year then the crazy one that we've been through to share some stuff that you can do if you haven't been feeling very cheery this holiday season, which I don't blame you if you haven't. I've compiled a little list of things that I will be doing in the next couple days to get myself into the holiday spirit as well as just to stay safe and not be like going out um, more than I need to in this time period. So I'll bring you along for all of that and I hope you guys enjoy. It'll be a very similar style to the one that I did last year, so if you liked, if you saw that, and if you liked that, the festive vlog that I did, you'll like this one too. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Hello! For today, Ryan and I are about to go take a little walk around, so I'll bring you guys with us. Let's go!
gift wrapping uh, part of the video I wanted to also show how I'm wrapping my gifts because right now they're kind of boring just white paper but white paper is great because you could either write different things on it or stamp different things on it but what I'm gonna do is just leave it plain and wrap it with this red and white striped twine and then add on a Christmas tag and if you like these tags at all I'll show some in the video they're available on my Etsy shop I'll put a link in the description uh, and you can print them like this, like craft paper, so it's white on the back so you can write on them, or print them with any color paper you want. Um, and so if you're interested, those will be in the description. And then I'm just going to intertwine some little snippets from this garland that I got from the dollar store of greenery and berries and stuff. So what I do to measure out the twine is I do this before I cut it. I get where maybe a middle point and I put it on the front of the package. Then I flip the package over and just twist the string around itself to then go the other way. I'm doing it very rough on camera right now, but that is basically what I do, and then I know how much I need to tie a bow. And I actually probably have more than I need, so I'll cut it off here. And then we're just gonna make this look a little better. So one second. So I'm just going to do one knot just to start with. And then I can add my tag. I think I might use that one. So then I already punched holes in these, so I'm just gonna thread them through the middle. And then I'm just going to tie another knot and tie a little bow. Okay, so I tied it off and just trimmed the ends a little bit. They're a little bent, but that's basically what that looks like. What I should have done is written them a message on here before, but it's okay, it's on a flat surface. I'll be able to do that in a minute. And then what I'm going to do to finish it is take some of these sprigs and just tuck them underneath both of the pieces of string. So something like this. And I'll show you the other one, I'll do the other one too, and show you what that looks like in one second. 